Hello, my name is Adrian Stevens. In this video, I'm going to look at a case study of recording a poem, of finding a poem to record, of doing the performance, of editing it, uploading it, and interacting with the forum. We're doing this in real time. I haven't prepared which poem, so that will be a surprise. We'll look for it together. So this might be a longer video than usual. Please bear with me. I hope it will give you some idea of what's in the mind of somebody looking for uh, suitable items to perform. So let's have a look at the forum. We have gone to forum.librivox.org and I'm going to log in. which is necessary if I want to post anything. Well, we're looking for poetry. So under the Readers Wanted Short Works Poetry and Prose, there is a, a thread. So let's open this. OK, there are a number of items here. Uh, often these forums start with some pinned items that are giving um, advice or as a general discussion and then follows um, collections well each of these turns into a book poetry the five nations volume one by rudyard kipling let's open this and scroll down to the magic window where we can see What is open? Well, there's a, a poem called... Well, all of these that are grey are open. So I'm looking through these and thinking, hmm, yep, OK. I've done some Kipling before. Um, but let's not leap to conclusions. Let's go back and see what else is available. Something childish? Well, perhaps not, although I'm childish enough. Children's short works, short stories. Short poetry condition, uh, collection. For the collections here, it's for people to actually make their own suggestions. So if I open this, you'll see that the magic window has got a lot of blanks and that's for people basically to propose their own readings. Okay, well it looks like it's going to be the Kipling, so let's scroll back to the Kipling. Here we are. Do I have any basis on which to prefer one? Hmm. Well, Sussex, Song of the Wise Children. Let's have a look at them. So, next thing is to find the text. It says, where do I find the text? There's a link here. So, I do right-click, open link in new tab, so that I can keep my place in the other one. And let's go to that tab. It's loading. Uh, OK, we've got... Um, an HTML version online. That's usually the most convenient if they have an HTML version. OK, there'll be a link here. So, Song of the Wise Children and Sussex. What did we have here? Oh, well, the order's reversed. Not that matters at all. Let's go to Song of the Wise Children. Quick look. It's about a page. Let's have a look at Sussex. It's about... Uh, it's slightly longer. So, uh, let's read a verse to ourselves. Well, I'm going to read it out loud. In fact, you should read it out loud, even if you are by yourself, and see whether you like the way it sounds. <clears throat> God gave all men, all earth, to love, but since our hearts are small, 
ordained for each one, spot should prove beloved over all, that as he watched creation's birth, so we, in godlike mood, may of our love create our earth, and see that it is good. Okay, no particular problems there. Let's try this. When the darkened fifties dip to the north, and frost and the fog divide the air, and the day is dead at his breaking forth, sirs, it is bitter beneath the bear. Okay. Um. I think I prefer the wise children. I think it's more opaque as to what it exactly is going on, which can make it quite fun. So I think we'll do Song of the Wise Children. So the next thing to do is to open up the uh, the window and say, where is it? Section 20, Song of the Wise Children. Okay, who is the book coordinator? MAS, I don't know who that don't know who that is. Somebody called Larry. Okay, so I'll I'll post reply here. Hello, Larry. I would like to read Song of the Wise Children. Section 20. Thank you, Adrian. Submit that. So the next thing to do is to wait for a reply, which could be the next day, could be several days. Um, you just have to be patient. Once we get the go-ahead, we can record the poem. OK, it's the next day, and we've had a response on the forum. So you see my post yesterday, Hello Larry, I would like to read Song of Wise Children, and jump to the last page of the forum, and uh, Larry has replied, thank you, you're all set for this one. And also, if we go into the magic window, uh, let me refresh this page, we see Song of the Wise Children is now assigned to me, and so we can record it and upload it. And so let's go ahead and do it. Now, this is the text. We have got various additional instructions in, in the first page here. And so it tells you what to do during your recording. The important thing is the disclaimer. So we've got to read the poem title by Rudyard Kipling, read for LibriVox.org by our name. Read the poem, and then say end of poem, this recording is in the public domain, and leave five seconds of silence. At the end of the book we can also say this, but we're not at the end of the book, so we can ignore that. And it gives us a format to name the file that we're going to export. We don't need that yet. So what I'm going to do is now bring up Audacity. Uh, check the recording level is around minus 6 or somewhere between minus 12 and minus 6. That's fine. I'm going to hit the record and then stick this out of the window. So we're recording now. 
and I'm going to say the prologue here. I'll just mark it. Oh, well, we need to get the program. We need to get the title of the poem exactly as shown. Mark it again. Song of the Wise Children by Rudyard Kipling. Read for LibriVox.org by Adrian Stevens. OK, so we've done that bit. Now we can... You notice I'm carrying on recording. I'm just going to cut out this uh, this talk. So here we are. Get ourselves ready to read it. Song of the Wise Children When the darkened fifties dip to the north And frost and the fog divide the air And the day is dead at his breaking forth Sirs, it is bitter beneath the bear Far to southward they wheel and glance The million molten spears of morn The spears of our deliverance That shine on the house where we were born Flying fish about our bows, flying sea fires in our wake. This is the road to our father's house, whither we go for our soul's sake. We have forfeited our birthright, we have forsaken all things meet, we have forgotten the look of light, we have forgotten the scent of heat. They that walk with shaded brows year by year in a shining land, they be men of our father's house, they shall receive us and understand. We shall go back by boltless doors to the life unaltered our childhood knew, to the naked feet on the cool dark floors and the high sealed rooms that the trade blows through. To the trumpet flowers and the moon beyond and the tree toads chorus drowning all and the lisp of the split... Oh, I got that wrong. Go back to and the tree toads. And the tree toads chorus drowning all and the lisp of the split banana frond that talked us to sleep when we were small. The wayside magic the threshold spells shall soon undie what the North has done because of the sights and the sounds and the smells that ran with our youth in the eye of the sun. And earth accepting shall ask no vows, nor the sea our love, nor our lover the sky, when we return to our father's house, only the English. <laughs> Got that bit wrong. When we return to our father's house, only the English shall wonder why. OK, got to do our prologue. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. OK, so we've done that. Uh, let's hit the stop button. Next thing is to save the Audacity project. OK, so we have recorded the poem and off camera I've saved it. I should explain the name of the project that I saved it at is derived from the file name for the mp3 file. So it's all of the mp3 file name, including the 128kb, and substituting in the section number for the two hashes here. So I've saved it as Five Nations, Volume 1, Section 20, Kipling, 128kb. So here we see it. Let's change to waveform db mode in order to look at the noise. And we see at the end we leave a section of silence. Here is the noise. Let's listen to the noise and see what it's con composed of. Well, 
I do that by normalizing this section and then playing it in a loop. Well, I can hear two things in that. One is I can hear the rumble of machinery in the background and we've got excavators in the field behind me. And also I can hear a bird chirping in the trees uh, above my recording shed. Well, what can we do? Uh, we, we do noise reduction, but also when you've got a low rumble like this, uh, we can do a filter curve on it, which is also called equalization in the previous version of Audacity. So, let's... Let's create a cutoff, say from 100 hertz to 60 hertz, and let's apply that. Okay. Now let's hear it. You'll see that it uh, had has reduced the rumble in the background quite a lot. So what I'm going to do is apply that to the entire track. So filter curve, apply that, and that's got rid of quite a lot of the noise. Now I'm going to select a region, do noise reduction. I need to get the noise profile, I select the entire track, do noise reduction 12 dBs. Okay, so that's pretty much removed the noise. Let's see what it's done to the sound quality. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. Mm, that's fine. I don't hear any distortion there. Okay, so we've done that. Uh, let's hit this. Some of these um, peaks come close to clipping, so I, I think in retrospect I should have set the volume level a little bit lower. Let's have a look at the entire track and um, let's analyze it and look for clipping, find clipping. Okay, there are some places where we've clipped. Hopefully those are places where I was uh, clicking to create a marker. Let's go and have a look. Yeah, so you see that's the two clicks. As, um, let's have a look at the next. Ah, this is not a marker. Frost and the fog diff so frost and there's a slight clipping in there. Southward it doesn't sound too bad. It's just on the sibilance. And here again. Forsaken all things we have forsaken all th Okay, well I think we're going to have to live with that. The alternative would be to re-record it with a, a lower volume level, which I'm not going to do. So it, it still doesn't sound too bad to me. So now we need to uh, edit this. We need to find all of those um, edit marks first. Oh, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to do a, a truncate silence that w uh, at two seconds. A threshold minus 40 dBs and that will just delete some of the um, the silence when I was thinking about something. Um, you'll notice there's quite a lot of spikes in this. Let's listen to this spike in a loop. That is a sound that my voice makes. That's my soft palate clicking. Um, and uh, we probably want to delete those if they're too uh, obvious. Uh, in a silent part, for example. So, anyway, let's get on with the edit. Okay, so we've that's not part of the script, so the script ends here. So let's delete everything I'm doing shift and right to the end and then I'm going to hit the delete button 
Okay, go to the end. So now that's the end. You you might think, well, what about the silence? We'll add that later. Uh, now, as as I'm changing the scale, I'm holding the control button and uh, hitting the mouse wheel. Here I'm going to select this and do control L just to get rid of that breathing. I'm going to control L that. Uh, there's a mistake here so I put the cursor in here. When we return to our... When we return... So now I have to find the matching text and you do this visually so you notice the shape of it. I reckon... Oh, I move the cursor. Right. I put the cursor back. So when we return, I reckon that's here. So I'm clicking in the top here to say play from that point. When we returned, okay, so that is the right place. So I'm going to uh, blow it up, find a silence. I'm going to hold the shift key and left mouse click. And I've selected. Now I'm hitting delete. And I'm so I deleted a little bit of space to preserve the original timing. I'm just running backwards. Uh, now here's another error, so let's hear what it was. And the tree toads chorus. Go back to and okay. And the lisp of the split. Oh, I got that wrong. So let's try here. And the tree toad. Okay, so this is the place where we need to. So shift, left click, delete. Okay, close up that space. And let's listen to that edit. Beyond, and the tree toads chorus drowning. Okay, that, uh, I don't hear any effect of the edit, which is good. You don't want people to be able to hear it. I just controlled all that, probably unnecessary. Uh, there's a lot of rubbish going on here. That's me uh, swallowing and breathing, which we don't want to hear. And this is my, on the left here, this is my uh, soft palette clicking. So I'm just going to hit Control L and delete all of that. There's a little bit, that probably they wouldn't hear that, but just for the sake of completeness, and it's a short poem, I might as well clear that up. And the same here. You don't have to remove all breathing. Um, it's just where it's combined with clicks that it seems to um, be audible. You expect people to breathe. Let's listen to this. And f Yeah, that, that's probably not too bad. This one here is isolated, so probably somebody's going to notice that. Oops. So just, uh, there's a lot of rubbish here, so let's just clear that. Control L. Um, get that one. Oh, here we've got an edit to do, so let's hear what this is. Song of the Wise Children. Ah, that's the um, Children by Rudyard Kipling. Read for LibriVox.org by Adrian Stevens. Okay, so that's the introduction. So we're going to cut everything from about half a second to the start and delete that. Uh, select everything, redo the truncate silence because now some of those clicks would have uh, defeated this. You notice this moved in here. Um, we're going to now play it and if I can bring up the text at the same time we can check that I actually read the right thing. So this is, if you like, doing an internal proof listening before I'm going to post it, um, because I'd rather fix errors that I detect myself. Also, I'm going to adjust the timing in this pass. Song of the Wise Children by Rudyard Kipling Read for LibriVox.org by Adrian Stevens OK, so we've done that bit. Now we can... Ah. You notice I'm... That's not part of the poem, is it? So here we are, get ourselves... 
Song of the Wise Children. Okay, so that's all me waffling. So this is where we start. Uh, we got a couple of seconds, perhaps a little bit much, so that's... For LibriVox.org by Adrian Stevens. Song of the Wise Children When the darkened fifties dip to the north and frost and the fog dip... Actually, what I'm going to do is apply replay gain at this point because uh, I've realised that might be a little bit loud on the YouTube video. So that's taken it down a notch. Uh, if we go to the waveform linear mode, you'll see that it's putting the peak somewhere up to 0 0.5 which is what LibriVox says it should be. Anyway, continuing in waveform DB mode, uh, we got to about here. When the darkened fifties dip to the north, and frost and the fog divide the air, and the day is dead at his breaking forth, sirs, it is bitter beneath the bear. Far to southward they wheel and glance, the million molten spears of morn, the spears of our deliverance, that shine on the house where we were born. Flying fish about our bows, flying sea fires in our wake, this is the road to our father's house, whither we go for our soul's sake. We have forfeited our birthright, we have forsaken all things meet, we have forgotten the look of light, we have forgotten the scent of heat. They that walk with shaded brows year by year in a shining land, they be men of our Father's house, they shall receive us and understand. We shall... Right, there's a long gap there, uh, longer than the other gaps between the verses, so I'm going to delete some of that gap. And then just listen to the timing. They shall receive us and understand. We shall go back by boltless doors to the life unaltered our childhood knew, to the naked feet on the cool dark floors and the high sealed rooms that the trade blows through. To the trump Again, that gap is too long, particularly as this is not really a sentence but a, a continuation, so that needs to come more quickly. That the trade blows through. To the trumpet flowers and the... Even that is a bit long, so I'm going to take some more of that gap out. Right. It blows through. To the trumpet flowers and the moon beyond, and the tree toad's chorus drowning all, and the lisp of the split banana frond that talked us to sleep when we were small. The wayside magic... OK, again, that gap is too big. So I'm going to delete some of it. When we were small. The wayside magic, the threshold spells, shall soon undie what the North has done. Oop! I said undie. This is undo here. Right, we've got a, an edit to do. A correction to do. Let's find it. Shall soon undie what... So... We've got, shall soon undie what the North has done. Um, let's make this window a bit bigger so we can see. I'll highlight what I'm going to re-read. And we'll find it on here. I put the cursor at the start of it. So that's, shall soon undie what the North has done. OK, so it's from there to there we need to replace. So I'm going to record. Uh, I'll mute this track so that I don't hear my own voice, and I'll read it. <coughs> Getting ready. Shall soon undo what the North has done. Right, that, that is too loud. I need to turn the mic down. And yes, I realise that's going to get quieter on the YouTube Try again. Shall soon undo what the North has done. OK, I think that sounds OK. Uh, go to waveform db. Now we have to do noise reduction for this. In fact, noise reduction, get noise profile, select everything, effect, 
noise reduction and perform noise reduction. For a little insert we don't have to be quite so um, careful about it but uh, because you won't notice it. So I'm going to do Control C to select that part. I'm going to mute that and unmute this. I'm going to mark where I need to do the insert and hit Control V. Now the next thing is to look at the... I'll, I'll apply the replay gain also and that's reduced it to a level similar to surrounding text. So let's uh, listen to it. We, we want timing and volume we're thinking about now. The threshold spells shall soon undo what the North has done because I think there's a little bit too much of a gap so I'm going to delete that and let's listen to it again. The threshold spells shall soon undo what the North has done because of the sights and the sounds and the smells that ran with our youth in the eye of the sun. And earth accepting... Right, that's a too long a pause, so I take out the silence. It's okay to have the breathing in there because people expect to hear breathing. And earth... That's, so I'm taking out the silence, not the breathing. The sun. And earth accepting shall ask no vows nor the sea our love, nor our lover the sky. When we return to our father's house, only the English shall wonder why. OK, got to do our prologue. OK, this is me whiffling. We don't want that. So give it a couple of seconds after the close, and we need to find where the sign-off is. End of poem. This recording is in the... OK, so I'm going to delete everything up to there. So now we've got two seconds. Why? End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. OK, so now we need to just add the five seconds of silence at the end, which we did using the generate silence, and this is ready to go. So now we're going to save it, or at least export it. We've saved the project. We export as mp3. I've got a folder for that purpose and the file name that it's given it based on the name of the project is the correct file name as required in the uh, in the LibriVox forum thread. So I hit save. It's constant 128 kilobits and we know it's mono. So that exported the file. The next thing to do is bring up the checker and check that everything is OK. So here we've got the checker window. I'll drag the file into that. So my desktop, LibriVox, uh, Five Nations, it's ordered by date most recent at the top, so that's convenient f for finding the file. So it's passed, um, which I expected, and uh, the useful thing here is um, it's is the track length, which we're going to use in a minute. So now we go back to the oh, wrong window, and go back to the forum. Let's make this a bit bigger. Now we're going to use the uploader. The username and password are here. Um, we're going to use those in a minute. So I right-click, open link in new tab, switch to that tab. The username and password as specified on the other page are already entered. Hit the login. I'm going, I have to select the uh, meta coordinator. That's Mary Ann Spiegel. The data is there, so I have to select Mary Ann Spiegel and add files and select Five Nations, open, start upload. Uh, this is a short poem, so it's going to upload fairly quickly. Right, now we have a link to the file. We could download from there if we wanted to, there's no reason to. But I right-click on this copy link address and 
now we're going to reply to uh, Larry, also known as Silverquill. I need to log into the forum to do this. And by quoting Larry, that means that he will get a special notification that I've quoted him. So I'll delete that part of the text and type in here you are. I'll put the link in there. Ready for proof listening and I'll put the length in. I can't remember what the length was. Okay, it was 2 minutes 14. For some purposes, they need to know this uh, because they, in the catalogue they'll publish the durations of each of the separate sections. So if the section is going in uh, as a separate file like this, um, this length is needed. For dramatic reading, uh, it probably isn't needed, but I think the proof listeners also like to know how long a part's going to be before they start to listen to it, so that they can set aside enough time to do it. Um, so we're, re we're all ready to hit the submit key, so hit submit. Okay, so this is now the post in the forum. So now we have to wait for the proof listener to respond and say that this is okay. So, until then. Well, we've received an email that says that there's been activity on the forum. Let's go and look for a response from the proof listener. This is the email. So we've clicked on the link and this has taken us to the forum where Song of the Wise Children was recorded. So you can see that I requested the song on March the 11th and Larry uh, said yes, here you are. Then we recorded the poem and uploaded it. And we got a reply from Larry, who says, wonderful, it's in the magic window, smiley face. Thank you very much, Larry. And then finally, we had an email today from Rapunzel, uh, Rapunzelina, to say, hello, we have PLOK for poems 17, 20 and 27, so 20 is ours. So it's now officially PLOK, we're done with that poem. If we go to the magic window and look for section 20, we can see that this is now PLOK and we can download it if we wanted to and listen to it. So I've taken you in this case study through the entire life cycle of recording a poem. I hope you enjoyed it.